Ladies and gentlemen, the Aerodynamics team have given us some spectacular news concerning their full suite of three DC-10 variants coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator along with a mystery aircraft they have set for release. Now for those of you who don't know, the Aerodynamics team are making the entire DC-10 suite of aircraft completely for free in Microsoft Flight Simulator. As mentioned, the team have shared some fantastic info on the aircraft's development in their most recent quarterly drop, highlighting fantastic progress that's already been made for the aircraft, so for all of that and much more, stay tuned. What is going on guys? Flyby Simulations here and welcome back to another news video on the channel. Now, just before we get started with the video, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone real quick. The channel did reach 8,000 subscribers yesterday and I couldn't be more grateful to each and every single one of you guys. The community is growing really, really fast and if you're not part of the Flyby Simulations journey just yet, make sure to get subscribed. Nearly 85% of you guys still haven't subscribed to the channel who are watching my content regularly, so make sure to do that to be in the know-how of everything that's happening in the world of aviation as well as flight simulation. Anyways, for today's video, we'll cover what the aerodynamics team have been up to so far with their DC-10, since the aircraft has been in development for a while and we have missed the previous four or five quarterly news drops they did. So we'll quickly catch you guys up with everything we know and then we'll move on to the October news drop the team shared yesterday. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so what do we know about the aircraft so far? Now, most people on the team that are currently working on the aircraft are real crew members on the KC-10, which is a highly modified military version of the more popular civilian aircraft, the DC-10. So the team obviously have very good information about the KC-10 due to the relative similarities between the two variants, so systems, modeling, animations and such should translate between the two pretty smoothly, ensuring a decent rendition of all of the aircraft that this team is trying to make for Microsoft Flight Simulator. As such, this promises to be the most detailed DC-10 simulation for any commercial simulator ever, at least that's what the devs are saying. Upon release, the team promises tons of written guides, documentation, as well as on-hand YouTube tutorials from the real-world experts on the team post-launch to help get consumers up and running in the aircraft as soon as possible. This includes both normal and non-normal operations, and considering this aircraft has been in development for so long, I would venture to say that the team will be modeling failures and various niche subsystems into the aircraft to provide a full DC-10 experience. Now, going through the team's FAQ or Frequently Asked Questions list on Discord, we know the following key logistical details about the aircraft as well. So let's talk about the release. Now, as is the case with most add-on aircraft that are in development by individual volunteer teams, the release date is as yet undecided. And by undecided, I actually mean undecided. It's hard to even speculate as well. Unlike some of the other aircraft that we know, like the Aerosoft A330 or so on, this aircraft, it's impossible to even speculate when this aircraft will be coming out. Because as I mentioned, it is being done by an independent volunteer team who are working to get as much done as possible with the limited resource constraints they have. The team has made significant progress on the aircraft, as you guys will see in just a minute, but it's hard to tell how much more is left to go. So it's pretty promising signs, but again, it's hard to speculate, and that's why I'm not going to say a release date on this video here. Next up then, let's talk about Xbox. Now I keep getting comments asking me to address Xbox and that's very valid, I agree, but as bad as I feel for you folks, this aircraft as of now also doesn't seem to have planned Microsoft Flight Simulator store support on Xbox. This might change though, considering WASM gauge support should be getting enhanced in Sim Update 12, which will likely be coming by the end of the year or towards the start of next year. That's when I hope to see many aircraft that are currently not supported for Xbox start getting at least some basic Xbox support so you folks on console can get some more variety in the very near future. Next up, let's talk about the different variants of the aircraft that will be released. So as mentioned, many of the team are actual crew members on the KC-10 version, which is the military version of the aircraft. So that version will be the first to come out for the sim. It should then be followed up by the DC-10 freighter version and the final variant to come out will be the passenger version. Each of these variants are confirmed to be study level, in air quotes, with a modeled pilot, a co-pilot, a flight engineer, a boom station with articulated boom and so on in due time. 
For those that don't know, the KC-10 actually had four crew members as against the two we're used to in modern airliners, so their functions also need to be simulated to ensure a nice experience with the airplane for simmers. So good to see that this is all being implemented and strive towards to provide us with a holistic DC-10 experience for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So now that we have some contextual understanding of where this project stands up till now, let's then talk about today's quarterly news drop where the team has highlighted where the aircraft is in its development process at present. So you might have noticed from the screenshots shared throughout the whole video thus far that the team has done a pretty good job with the KC-10 already, seeing as they have the most experience with that aircraft. However, in today's update, the team have highlighted that contrary to their initial goal of only focusing on the KC-10, they have started focusing on the DC-10 freighter variant too. And looking at the screenshots, they've made quite some progress, I would say. And yes, a freighter version will be the first to release prior to the passenger variant as I mentioned, which is actually a good choice considering some DC-10 freighters are still in service, whereas the passenger versions have long been retired. The team has also stated that 9 custom made liveries will be included on launch, including FedEx, Aeroflot, as well as United, which I'm assuming will be for the passenger version of course. Looking at the screenshots, they're all beautiful, but this one specifically catches my eye the most. It shows the level of detail the team is striving towards and how much progress has already been made for the aircraft. You can see that the primary cargo door on the left side of the aircraft has already been modeled and moreover, even the engine cowling seems to have the ability to be taken apart. So tons of features and effort going into the development of the freighter version, which is exciting stuff to see. Next up, let's move interior. The team have managed to capture a complete 3D scan of the real DC-10 cockpit and meticulously added great detail in high priority areas of the cockpit never seen before in any DC-10 simulation for commercial flight sims. The team has highlighted that simmers will be able to swap between various gauge and instrument types depending on what sort of experience they prefer through the supplied EFB or electronic flight back. So it's good to know that the devs will be in including an EFB and we'll talk about this in just a second when we get to systems modeling. Looking at the internal screenshots though, many of their claims seem to be true, with many areas of the cockpit being modeled very extensively. From the 3D depth of the buttons to the overall size and scale of the cockpit, as well as various reflective surfaces around the cockpit like this little glass panel here, good progress that I'm seeing so far. So then, let's talk about the displays and systems that have been modeled for the aircraft so far. The team have said that the fuel gauges are now integrated properly and are fully operational within the aircraft. The team have also started work on the EFB, as I mentioned before. Now, according to the team, they have said that the EFB will allow simmers to have control over standard features like the ground handling, checklist integration, navigraph charts, as well as SimBrief. On top of this, the team is also promising OSM maps, allowing for real-time location tracking of the aircraft as you fly. Speaking more on the systems, the team said the electrical system is now in a state where it is easy to integrate with other systems, lights for example. As a result, work has begun on other crucial aircraft systems such as a more advanced fuel system and APU with pneumatic and hydraulic systems to follow. Once the team is at a stage where base implementation of all of these systems exists, the fine tuning for realism will then begin and the team will provide us with more updates as time progresses. Finally, the team has also revealed that another mystery fourth variant of the DC-10 will also be coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator for us simmers to enjoy, which is the 10 tanker variant, aka the firefighting aircraft. The team says it's something they've always wanted to bring to the flight sim scene and are very glad to be able to break the silence regarding this project, which has been under development for over two years now. This aircraft comes with the ability to drop fire retardant with a press of a button, and it'll also feature its own custom interior true to the source aircraft flying to this day. So pretty exciting stuff all around. And that, ladies and gentlemen, covers today's video covering the entirety of the DC-10 currently being made by Aerodynamics. Personally, I didn't even know this aircraft was under development until I came across their Discord server today, so very, very excited to see this stuff. I'm still trying to collect and collate all of these sources of news and information for Microsoft Flight Simulator and put it into an Excel page, so if you guys know of any other exciting projects that are currently going on in the world of flight simulation, feel free to leave a link down to their Discord or their website down in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure it'll help the other viewers watching, and I will put it into my list of news sources, so I can continue bringing you guys more up-to-date information on everything happening 
happening in the world of flight sim. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel already, what are you waiting for? Go for it. Join us in the flyby simulations journey. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Can we get to it? Can we not? It is up to you guys to decide. But anyways, until the next time, thanks for flying by.